Hi everyone, welcome to this, another special episode of Is It <laughs> You might have noticed I'm on my own, no Dan today. But he's going to be here for the other half of this. This special episode is in two halves. And the reason that is, is that this is the long-awaited, often promised shootout between different LA 2As. Now, we did a video a couple of years ago now, right back when we started the channel, where I reviewed the Clark Technic KT 2A. I own one. It's in my rack down there, and I use it. Um, and I made a point of saying, I don't really believe that anybody would be able to tell in a blind test the difference between the Clark Technic and a real LA-2A. And pretty much everyone disagreed with that one and said, oh, no, 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 I'd recognise an LA-2A. They sound so unique and special. And this all plays into this sort of thing that is, is often around expensive pieces of analogue gear in that, you know, these myths grow up around this gear that it's, it's in somehow magic and that it's going to make your mixes sound completely different to the... the budget gear you might be having to use rather than the expensive gear you'd really like to use and I've been engineering in studios for over 30 years I've used the LA-2A lots of times and yes they sound great I love them it's a really beautiful opto compressor but I've obviously used more than one different one and no two of them sound the same you can't ever use a pair to use it in stereo they, they will not match that doesn't happen they're, they're so different to each other when I was seeing all these clones come out a few years ago and there was the warm audio obviously in the Clark Technic and a couple of others I thought well it's worth a listen and I tried out the Clark Technic and to my ears I'm like well that's an LA 2A there's there's so little difference that the fact that this one's 200 quid and the real one's four grand that's insane I'm, I'm just gonna get this and I'm gonna use it and no one's gonna know and do you know what I've done loads of records where the vocals gone through the Clark Technic. Not once has a label phoned up and said, oi, oi, we can tell you're using that cheap bearing again. We're going to have to get you to do it again with the real one. That doesn't happen. That just doesn't happen. <laughs> it's insane. Um, so what we decided to do was we'd get a real LA-2A via Access Analog. We've got my KT-2A, the Clark Technic. We've also got some plugins just to see how they fare. So we've got the Soft Tube Opto Compressor. We've got the Analog Obsession La La. And we've got the stock plug-in from Logic, the Logic stock compressor, and we've got it in the vintage opto mode. I've set them all pretty much the same. I'm taking the same amount of gain off on all of them. I've level matched them. So there's five, and you're gonna hear three different things. First, first of all, I'm gonna play some drums. It's a song, and the drum bus has been sung to mono, and I'm using the LA-2As to compress the drum bus. So you're gonna hear that. And all I want you to do in the comments is put which one, one, two, three, four, or five, is the real LA-2A? See if you can guess what's the KT-2A or the plugins. That would be really interesting, but mainly I want to hear if you can hear the real one. Um, after we've done the drums, we're going to do some bass, and after the bass, we're going to do some vocals, but let's start with the drums. So this is a whole track, but the drums only are going through these LA-2As. Tell me which one's real.
Okay, so that was the drums. Pretty tricky, I reckon. To my ears, one of them stands out. But is that the real one? We'll see. Okay, next up, bass. This is the same song, this time. There's a slap bass part in it. That is going through the LA-2As. And again, all I want you to do, tell me one, two, three, four, or five, which one is the real LA-2A, and tell me what the other ones are. See if you can tell me. Can you hear the difference? All right, here's the bass. Again, I think that's quite tricky. Again, I think one of them stands out as being slightly different, the others not so much. Finally, let's hear some vocals. So this is a different part of the song, and this time it's just the vocal is going through the LA-2As. Again, tell me one, two, three, four, or five, which one is the real LA-2A, which one is the Clark Technic, which ones are the plugins, and maybe just tell me which one you prefer, which one sounds best. It's really interesting. I spoke to another engineer recently who told me that without a doubt, he would be out of tell a real LA two way from the Clark Technic and from the plugins. So I don't know if he's going to comment on this. It'll be really interesting to see if he does. Maybe my ears are broken. Maybe it is really obvious, but we're going to find out. And I think the most intriguing thing is going to be how many people are going to comment, how many people are going to risk their reputation of their ears. Who's going to pick the stock plug-in and say it's the real, you know, LA-2A? The thing is, it doesn't matter. And kind of the point of this test is to show is that, yes, this gear is amazing. It's really nice. And, and it blazed the trail. It set the, the benchmark for what an opto compressor can sound like. And other people copy it. And they copy it so well that, yeah, you might as well use a copy. Unless you've got lots of money, there's no point in going to get the real one unless you just always wanted one and you can afford it. Otherwise, I don't think there's really enough in it to justify that. So have some fun with it. I'd really be interested to see what, what you think is what and what sounds best. Anyway, uh, this is it. We'll see what happens.
Okay, so there you go. That was the vocal test. You've heard all of it now. You've heard drums, you've heard bass, and you've heard vocals going through all these different LA2As. I think it's going to be quite tricky for you guys to guess which is the real one. Um, just for the people out there that are bound to comment and say, oh, yeah, but, you know, it, did you overdrive one of them? Did you send too much? Sick? Look, listen, all of them were checked and double checked the gains were all the same i wasn't pushing too much into any one of them none of them was significantly louder than the other one and the output or the input it was all level matched it's a very fair test i think anyway let us know in the comments what you think which is the real la2a and we're not going to tell you this time so you're going to have to be brave put your comment down there what you think the real la2 is uh, la2a is and we'll come back in another episode in a little while, once we've got a bunch of comments. All right, take it easy. See you later.